Today I'm going to show you how to build a cut or a coracle. It's pretty much the same thing, just a different word from different countries. And it's a skin boat. Uh, it's been used in this area since the Iron Age, maybe even earlier. Um, now, if you just had a piece of skin on water and you stepped in it, it would go <laughs> and uh, wrap around you and you would sink. So one of the things you need to do first is to build a frame. And the frame will help support the skin and spread it out so it can take your weight. If you feel your ribs, they're doing that with your skin. Uh, so maybe that's where they got the idea from. Who knows? Now, to make the skin, you're going to need some long, straight, bendy wood. Uh, this is a nicely cut willow, but you could go out and you could trim things from your garden. The willow, if it gets really dry, becomes brittle and it doesn't bend. Or rather, when it bends, it snaps. So you need to soak the willow as well, and I'll show you that in a little bit. You'll also need uh, a skin. Now, uh, you could use an animal skin, or you could use paper. Uh, this is really good stuff. It's wet strength tissue paper. That means that when it gets wet, it doesn't just disintegrate. But you could also use uh, ripped up uh, newspapers and uh, make a paper mache skin to cover it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, to hold the skin together, uh, you need PVA glue and water. A 50-50 mix, which means that you need something to mix it in. I've got this tub that I use a lot, and uh, I've got cool footprint-shaped sponges to use as well. Although you can just use an ordinary sponge, or in fact, no sponge at all, uh, just a paintbrush. Paintbrush. I thought someone had eaten it. To tie your uh, ribs together, the boat together, then you can use some string. This is really nasty string I got that has got no strength in it at all, which means it's okay for doing this because it's a toy and it gets glued together. You get nicer string, it's stronger. Or if you're not so good at knots, then you can use uh, tape, like masking tape. And that's got the added advantage of sticking to itself when you wrap it around, so you don't even need to worry about tying all the knots. You could use bigger, chunkier masking tape, or even electrical tape, because basically this is just getting what you have in your house together to make something. You will also need a, a good, tough piece of plastic, and this works for making a, a table. And it's the really, really cunning way to cover the whole sheet of paper in glue at once. And I can show you the table that I got ready over here. And you'll see how that works in a moment. So, uh, yeah, first of all, we need to work out how to make the rib cage for the boat. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. In order to make uh, rods that you're going to weave with nice and bendy, the best way is to cut them straight when there's sap in them. But if you were using willow like this, then it dries out over time. So to rehydrate it, you can wrap it in a, a damp cloth and leave it for a good while to soak. I had some good straight uh, willow rods which I'd been using in another project uh, so I can use them to make the cutters. But you don't need fancy things. You could go out into your garden or anywhere else that it's safe to travel to and find the straightest sticks you've got and they'll still make a cutter and it will be an interesting one with more character. If you prune your trees then they'll send out new growths. If you do it once every two years, then you'll get a standard thickness of growth. If you leave them longer, then you'll get thicker uh, rods. And so you can manage your woodlands to provide you with the right type and thickness of wood you need when you need it. 
it means that you need to think about things over a long time scale. Uh, it said we plant trees for our grandchildren and we enjoy the trees which our grandparents planted for us. Thank you for watching the first part of this video. It's a series. Next one will be how to actually start making the frame for your cutter or coracle.